Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So the other day I was chatting with a friend of mine. You all know that feeling. We are feeling stressed after a full day of work only to find out that a lot more things on your to-do list, right? So your heartbeat speeding up and your blood pressure is higher. Does that sound familiar to you? It certainly does sound familiar to me. So when I was chatting with my friend, I was thinking we've all been there. Right? Stress, it's a constant topic. Today, I just want to share four tricks that I found it very useful whenever I'm stressful and I hope it's also useful to you. Let's dive right into it. Trick number one is to give up. What? You're asking me to give up? I know it sounds strange. I'm not asking you to give up the things that you want to achieve, but rather to give up control of everything. Who doesn't want full control of life and feels like everything is under our control? But if you think deeply, can anyone ever achieve that? Not really, right? Isn't there's this famous saying that with greater power, comes with greater responsibility. So I think the most important thing is just to accept it. Accept that life is random, accept that life is supposed to throw a lot of curveballs at us and that's the game. Play along with it. I think the best way is, is just to control the things that we can control and leave the rest to the progress. I just have the Roman philosopher Seneca famous quote, what need is there to weep over parts of life, the whole of it? is to call for tears. That circumstances when he actually said those words now might not really apply to what we are living nowadays, but I think that's the core of the stoicism. We sometimes become weepy and furious, not simply because our plan has failed, normally because they have failed and we strongly expected them not to. I think most of the time, the disappointment and stress usually comes from the expectation gap. We expect things will be happen here at this level, but for whatever reason, it might not be our fault, we just only get things at this level. So this gap is something that we will experience disappointment and sadness and a lot of the time stress. So there's this book that's my favorite book of the year and maybe later I'll do a book club series on this one. It's called Full by Randomness. I particularly like this quote. It says that the only article Lady Fortuna has no control is your behavior. Good luck. So nowadays I live by this mantra is I would try to do my best every day and every single day. Try to give 100%. The rest of it, I will leave it to life itself and hopefully if by giving 100%, life will not be perfect but it won't be worse if I haven't. That's my trick number one, just to give up full control. The second trick I usually use is to ask questions. So really think whenever we are like, there are so many voices in our mind, be the one who asks the question first. What is the problem that we are really stressed about. What is the core for us to be so emotional or so stressed? If you really zoom out as a third person when you watch things from afar, you figure out that it might not seem that critical or serious as what you think of it. And oftentimes that's when you clear your mind, you can actually go back and solve the problem. Throughout the pandemic, the world has become way quieter than ever before. I've learned to finally listen to my inner voice and ask the question, what's the key issue here and why am I stressed being emotional? I've been doing that in my whole life. This time, I think I finally learned to do that from afar. Maybe it's because of practicing yoga regularly or because I have been reading all those books that keep reminding me I should ask the critical constructive questions to myself so that I understand what's the core of the issue and realize that emotions it will come and will go. Earlier this year I mentioned this book called Chatter in a previous video you can see the link here. It mentioned the trick to quiet our mind. There are three ways that we can do it. Number one is time travel. If you think of something that so heated at the moment you just couldn't get out of it maybe you can do a time travel. Think of it from a year later or even two months later when you look back. It might not seem that serious at all. But the second is you can always try to talk to yourself by addressing your name try to do it in this way say for example if i constantly say that i'm stressed i'm stressed i'm stressed unintentionally reinforcing this idea that i am stressed but i'm talking to myself lydia you are stressed yes but why in this way i talk to myself as a friend i think it's called distance self-talk you immediately distance yourself from the matter at that point you can look at it in a more holistic way the third way is also distancing yourself from the matter you can use the word you in that way you almost feels like not only yourself but there are a lot of other people they are also experiencing 
things in the same way so that you feel the connection. And that's usually the way that will take away some of our stress. So that's the second thing, ask questions. Ask questions in a way that you actually can distance yourself. So trick number three is do something. Usually I will hear people say that, oh, but I couldn't start doing this unless I have this equipment or I couldn't start doing that unless I finish this thing at hand. But trust me, I think do anything is better than do nothing. But you need to have a system. When we couldn't control and couldn't focus because stress level is too high, we collapse into our system. And that's mentioned in another book called The Atomic Habits by James Clear you always fall back to your system. So what I usually do is, I have a list of items that I want to achieve on that day. It doesn't have to be big. It could be a daily highlight. Say for example, today my highlight will be filming this video. But you have so many other things like errands you need to run, you need to do laundries, you need to clean the apartment, you need to actually go out for a walk. You can just write everything down. That's your system. Whenever you're stressed, whenever you don't know what to do, you just need to look at that list. And then you pick one that's easy to get done with. Once you finish one and another one, your mind is much clearer and then you feel like, okay, life is back in control again and I can focus on the most difficult things again. I will always suggest if you don't know what to do, just go to the gym. Stay active, always help. But I do understand it's not for everybody. So it doesn't have to be a 45 minutes hit workout. Even though if you have time, I would highly suggest you to do it. And that's usually what I turn into when I'm lost. Because that's when your body and your mind are synced. You're really focused at that moment. When we're focused, we're always happier. And at the same time, without knowing it, you're actually building a healthier body for yourself, which is also helpful if in the future you're going to face other difficulties. That's number one thing you can do. The second thing is you can always just take a walk, right? Enjoy the sun or even appreciate the rain. Stay at the moment, enjoy it. And now I finally understand simply do a meditation. Just watch your emotion comes and go. So my trick number four is learn something new. You know that feeling, the aha moment or the light bulb moment when you really get to the bottom of an issue and you finally find that, oh, now I know, now I understand. Isn't it the best? I think human beings were actually driven by the thirst of knowledge. If you just think of it the last time you actually figure out something by yourself, it's amazing. It doesn't have to be big. I think learning a new language helps. I would just have this app, right, Duolingo or whatever, just use it as a game like if my head is super crowded with all those sounds in my mind already i would just take five minutes to refresh my mind you might not do the same way you might have something that's always in your head you, what's the topic that you want to know more of? you can just google that you know take 10 15 minutes from the stress and do something that make you feel like you've accomplished something trigger your mind free your brain from the stress itself when you come back you have a clear mind have a better mood i couldn't guarantee but i think it must be better than you just sit there dealing with the stress yourself and getting deeper and deeper into the emotion so that's it that's the end of today's video there's four tricks that i usually use when i'm stressed so number one is give up the full control number two is try to ask questions be curious about what you're really stressed about the third is just to do something do anything the fourth is learn something new so those are my four tricks i hope the video will be somewhat helpful to you and if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so i'll share a lot more in the future i'll see you next time